So as you all know, the resizeTizer NT library can be used, um, can use SVG files for all images in your app. And there's quite a bit of documentation, as you can see in the GitHub repository for it. There isn't much documentation to be able to use it as an app icon. And so I was like, hey, let me go ahead and create this because it does a really good job in creating the XC asset file, PNG, XML, all the files that are needed for round icons, adaptive icons, and everything. So you can go through this article in a lot of detail. Um, we'd also created a Python script quite a while ago in order to create all these app icons in you know, different formats using a Python script. But now we don't need any of that. So we kind of reverse engineered the code to figure out how we can actually get this done. So first what you do, you take your SVG file that your designer gave you and you use a design website. You can use a design tool or you can use a free website like Figma to process that SVG a little bit. So I'm gonna go and get my icon, my original. I'm just gonna to go to figma.com, log in, and I'm gonna create a new design file. As you can see here, and then I just go ahead and paste the SVG file that was given to me. So it pasted it as a frame, and that's exactly what we need. You see that hash symbol? And we need to make sure that it's 1024 by 1024 in dimension. So I'm gonna name this as original. What we need to do, we need to convert this file into two different files, just so that it works with Android adaptive icons. One file contains the background. So if it's, you know, you need a background color of, let's say red or blue. So you will make sure that you delete everything except for that background that has that color. So it's FFFF. And then we're gonna call this app icon. And we're going to go ahead and export it as an SVG file. And so you'll get app icon.svg in your downloads folder. And then I'm gonna rename this to foreground. And I'm gonna delete only the background. So now there's no background, it doesn't have a background. And I'm gonna take everything else and I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. So it seems like there might have been some issue with my SVG file. So I, in order to make it fit inside an Android round icon, I needed to shrink it down, shrink my foreground down a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that and then go ahead and export it oh, as, a, as an SVG. Okay, so now my downloads has two files, foreground SVG and app icon SVG that we need. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one. Once you have those two files, just go back to your solution where you wanna install the whole thing. You can right click on your solution in your solution explorer and just say manage NuGet packages and make sure that you have resizeTizer installed. I just type that into the search, check that box, get the latest version, say add package, check all three projects and just hit okay. I already installed it, so I'm not gonna hit okay. Once it's installed, it might take a few seconds, just go ahead and go to your core or your shared project, say add existing files and get your foreground file and your app icon file and just say open. It will go ahead and add it to the project, as you can see here. For the app icon file, right click on it and say, change the build action to shared image, okay? After you do that, just right click on the project, say edit project file, and then scroll all the way to where you see the shared image app icon.svg. So this is the format that it's going to be in, but you need to change it up so that it says is app icon is app icon equals true. Change this foreground file name to foreground.svg and then just add a foreground scale equals 1.5 for now. We can change that later. But so as soon as you get to this, go ahead and go to your Android manifest file. <clears throat> so I'm gonna right click and say open with Visual Studio Code. 
and I'm going to change the icon name to mipmap slash app icon. And then I'm going to add a round icon as well. And I'm going to name it mipmap slash app icon underscore round. That's it. So these are the only two changes that you need to make. If icon wasn't there already, that probably means that your app icon is set in your activity file. So just go to your activity and just, you know, make changes in the property, um, in the attributes instead. So I didn't, I did it in my Android manifest, so I didn't need to do it here in main activity. Once that's done, you can just hit, make sure that Android is selected, debug, make sure that your virtual device is selected and just hit play. I have multiple projects set up, so it allows me to build and debug at the same time on iOS and Android simultaneously. So once you do that, you'll be able to see your Android app icon. <clears throat> Just make sure that you're able to see it, if that it fits within um, your round icon. Okay, if you use a pixel, generally it'll default to a round icon, so it's easy to test. If it doesn't, you know, if it's too small, if it's too big, just like I said, you know, just go ahead and, you know, increase the size. So if you hold shift and you hold option, it maintains the aspect ratio and it resizes in all directions. So it makes it very easy. You can resize it a bit, you know, go ahead and export and then download this SVG. And then, you know, you can just go ahead and replace that file, test it again, see if it works. Once you know that Android is perfect, then go over to inf your info.plist inside your iOS project and change your, your XS app icon assets value to whatever it, from whatever it is before to assets.xc assets slash app icon dot app icon set. And once you set that, you know, just go ahead and build and see what it looks like. If it looks like what you expect it to be, then that's perfect. You don't need to change your foreground scale. So this foreground scale only affects the iOS project. And, but if it's smaller than what you expect it to be, the foreground image is smaller, the logo is smaller, then just go ahead and increase the scale. So you want to scale it up to, you can say two. If it's too big, you scale it down you know, to 0 0.66 or whatever, you, whatever you'd like that way, you know, and that's it. When you, when you're done with that, just hit stop and, you know, just go in ahead and hit play. There are some errors that you might get while you're running through this. You can go through the article and read up about what different scenarios you probably want to avoid. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions, I'm available on Twitter, Salmer Mansour. Yeah. Or you can just email me, send me a message on LinkedIn. Thank you.